American Museum of Fly Fishing. I'm Clay and this is Lane. And today we're going to be drawing a fly rod and reel for everyone to color at home. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, the first part we're going to draw is the very bottom of the rod, just like that. And we call this part of the rod the real seat. You know why? It's where the reel sits. So now we're going to draw a reel, which just one line like that, and then a circle, which is a little hard to draw. The reel is where all the fishing line is stored, and there's even a handle, so you can turn it. We'll draw a little handle just like that. Okay, now we're going to draw the handle of the rod, which is where you would hold on to it if you were fly fishing. Now we have a really long piece, which is a little thinner and is the actual fly rod. We're going to make it curve a little bit. In the old days, this part was made out of bamboo, so it was flexible. There we go. And now we want our fly line, which is going to be catching our fish. So I'm going to make my fly line kind of doing this, because I cast it out into the water. But you can have your line do anything you want. This part of the fly line is called the fly line. Then farther down we have the leader. And at the very end, this last little part is called the tippet. And the tippet is attached to the fly. So now we're gonna draw a fly with a head. And a little neck. And then a body. And then we're going to make this kind of fat piece that's supposed to be like a wing of an insect. And this fly is going to have a tail that goes up. And then a little hook that goes down to catch the fish. We did it! Now we can color it in any colors we want. I'm fishing on a very rough sea.